Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much uh, you, you staying here to attend the session. I know that after three days long holiday presentation, everybody exhausted. It's kind of the torture. And uh, thank you, give me a chance to torture you. Thank you. So uh, my topic is building communication apps on OpenStack Cloud architect infrastructure. My name is Liang Li. I'm from Telestax. Uh, Rascom, we, we are talking about Rascom. Rascom is, uh, is an open source project based on MobileSense, which has grown over the last 10 years. And now MobileSense is readily deployed as a software as a service. Rascom supplies a RESTful API access to powerful capability and the communication capability of the communication platform. So web developer can build the application, communication application uh, through the RESTful API and without leaving their comfortable programming environment, for example, PHP, Java, Python, .NET, Ruby. And uh, MobileSense is a, uh, MobileSense project is a uh, most uh, popular telecom open source community, which has been contributed by many industry key players, including Huawei, Avaya, Cisco, Twilio, Orange, Red Hat. And uh, based on MobileSense, uh, Telestacks supply a full portfolio of communication platform to facilitate building the value added service application. From this chart, we can see that uh, Telestacks communication platform including a lot of component, including media server, uh, Genesis container, uh, SIP servlet container, USSD gateway, short message center, dial meter, etc. Above all of the comp component is RESTCOM. Now let's talk about RESTCOM. RESTCOM is a real-time cloud communication platform for web de developers to build and uh, skill voice WebRTC, uh, voice fax, video, and message apps for WebRTC, SIP, and the PST networks. You can deploy your own Tilo or Tropo in a box in no time. Rescom supply a telecom API, network API, to web developers, which is very easy to use. And the API is totally compatible with Twilio API. So it's very easy for web developers to integrate the communication capability into their application. The communication features is provided by the MobileSense platform. And the Rescom can be very easy deployed in public, private, and hybrid, hybrid cloud environment. Actually, we have launched the AMI, uh, RESTCOM AMI, on the Amazon Marketplace. You can try it out very easily and quickly. For private cloud, we, we have the success, success story deploying the RESTCOM on the uh, OpenStack. We can talk it later. And also, the RESTCOM uh, features a uh, plugin for architecture. You can choose the uh, SP service provider of your choice. Use the pro service provider of your choice to send the sort of message, convert uh, SIP or VIP to legacy, and uh, use your text to speech vendors. This is a screenshot of RESCOM uh, VIP innovation for VIP innovation on the marketplace of the Amazon. We know that tele develop, developing application in telecom world is a very hard job. It's challengeable. We must have the developer who dedicate the expertise, who understand the low-end protocol. For example, uh, SMPP, USSD, SAP, RTP. But web developers is, uh, has been accustomed to simplicity. So RESCOM is a bridge between the two worlds. Through the RESTCOM, the web developers can build the communication capability into the web application very easily. They can just call the RESTCOM and command RESTCOM to 
handle the complexity of the telecom. Also, of course, the operator, telecom operator also can leverage the RESCOM as a platform to build the value-added service if quickly and efficiently. OK, we see some example. If your application want to send a short message to, to a number, and it can just uh, make a very simple XML call to the RESCOM, and the RESCOM will handle the SMPP protocol or MAP protocol to deliver the short message. This example of XML, we can see it's pretty easy. You just use the SMS tag to command the RESCOM to send the short message. And uh, if there is an incoming call to the RESCOM platform, for that incoming call, for the given number, the RESCOM will ask your application how to handle that call. And uh, the application can easily use a very simple XML to command the RESCOM put the call. RESCOM put the call into the uh, conference. We can see this is an example of the how to handle this call. First, the application use the C tag to greeting the callers, and then use the dial and the conference to put the call into the uh, conference. OK, we can see some RESCOM features and use keys. First, you can use RESCOM to handle the inbounding, outbounding call. For example, create a, create a predictive dialer. Uh, do the appointment reminder, click to, to call, call queuing for call center uh, application. Also, you can build the IVR very easy. Uh, you can design the main uh, phone menu, call center, use text to speech to greeting the caller, and also please the pre recorded files. And also, you can build your own conference system on a fly. You can play on hold music. You can record a conference. You can beep on into exit of a participant. It's all on Java, php.net, to call the RESCOM to, to do it. And also, you can res record the, the, the voice. We have the media server to uh, can help to record the entire call for later use. We can promote user to leave a voicemail. We can get the record file whenever you want, or you recording on specific DTMF recognition. For short message UST email, you can use RESTCOM to do the appointment reminder, deliver follow-up, force, marketing campaign, grouping messaging. Of course, you can design UI, self-port UI uh, for users, easy to configuration. Subscribers, sub subscribers can manage the, their short message, voice recording, call logic, something like that from UI. And also, we have the web artistic capability. You can, you can realize the browser to browser or PS, browser to PST audio call. You can do the browser to browser video call. The screenshot uh, on the screen, you can see that we can for people to hold a screen, uh, video call through the web RTC. OK, now we can see a success story of health sense, how, to, how they leverage the RESCOM. Health sense uh, is a US company. They enable caregivers to provide the right care at the right time in the preferred environment. The, the main target of them is improving observation through remote monitoring combined with analytics and accelerator action based on early improved observation and the drive better outcome, reduce cost, and uh, improve care. It's, HealthSense is an innovation leader in technological, technology enabled care solution. It's, they are founded in 2001. They have 116 clients and are caring for more than 12,000 individuals. They are recognized the market leader in technology enabled care combine real-time data with powerful analytics and multiple, multimodal communication. OK, uh, HealthSense technology uh, solution are delivered through HealthSense Advantage. It's a private cloud based on OpenStack. 
from this chart, we can see on the, the people from their home or living apartment can send the data to the uh, OpenStack platform. Of course, the, the, the data including the voice, the monitor, the sensor data, and uh, other things. And on the OpenStack, uh, we deployed the RESTCOM solution, uh, including the RESTCOM, including the SIP container, including the media server. And uh, the OpenStack connect to the telecom operator through the SIP trunking. Let's see a scenario of the um, health sense advantage. An alert based on a, on a specific event. For example, Molly is an aged, aged uh, lady, already 74 years, re, uh, lived in uh, Illinois, and uh, he has a history of dizzy spell. And uh, how since installed the sensors into uh, Molly's home because he is far away from his parents, and uh, they use the health sense technology to to monitor his health. And Molly, in the morning, Molly fall, get out of bed in the morning, and the neighborhood motion sensors detect the initial uh, motion. Then no motion in apartment. And uh, this alert is observed by uh, health sense advantage and triggers the RESCOM to have an alert call uh, sent to care staff at uh, uh, other place. And uh, then they help the Molly to, to, to her fate. Molly avoid the hosp hosp hospitalization, loss of independence. And also, Molly increased the toilet activity, perhaps two times uh, normal use. And the neighborhood toilet sensors monitor the activity. And the uh, analytics identity the problem. And then alert email by RESCOM to caregivers with relevant data. And the care team then diagnoses early stage and can give him uh, right treatment. Also, uh, you can use the uh, health, uh, uh, health sense, also can do the automatic residence check-in, automatic phone question for disease management of chronic conditions. For example, the system can call four times every day to the uh, older people and uh, let, them to, uh, let them to tell their environment by pushing the uh, keyboard of the phone. Are you okay? Are you feel comfortable? You can place one or two. And based on in input, and the doctor or the caregivers can uh, call back to the uh, aged people to find the more uh, situation. And uh, also the alert communication uh, can be rotated based on customized RESCOM based call tree. You can design and design different call trees and uh, use a different policy at different times based on different uh, uh, situation of the, um, of, the, of the ages. Okay, uh, now let's take a look, uh, case study, kick take away. Now we live the in an API world and the economy. So we no need to reinvent the wheel. Just export, export your network assets today to the world, like the operator, telecom operator, the PST network, or internally for your team, so others can leverage your capability of the networks easily. Also partner today and drive new source of revenue. Last but not least, uh, I will make a small adjustment. Uh, between the 21 to 20, 21st to 22nd in uh, Bangkok, uh, there will be a telecom application develop summit. And uh, it's supported by Huawei, Ubuntu, Open Cloud, Telestax, and I hope to um, get the telecom uh, developers stay together to talk about the innovation of the tele, uh, telecom in the future. So if uh, this is our website, if you have any question, you can send me email or access our website to get more information. 
Uh, thank you very much for your time.